Hello guys, and welcome to a new type of Zelt video I thought about two days ago while falling asleep. Oh, hey, show off the shirt. Thank you, Randall, for giving that to me. It was very nice of you, even though you, I don't think he watches these videos. Now, I'm going to be showing off all the hardware I own in the next few videos. After I did my year celebration, I thought, hey, why not? After doing a tour of the rooms, showing off my stuff. So what we got here for this video is, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my head in the frame, is the Sega Genesis. This is the Model 2, obviously. Well, obvious to me, of course. It's a beautiful beast. I got freshman year of college. Obviously, you play my favorites, Sonic 1, Sonic 2. Wonderful Genesis games. The classic Genesis. Bought it used off of Amazon, you know, because if, if you bought an unused one, that would be very expensive. I don't even want to think about how much that would be. And what, what I got first, before I realized I didn't have authentic controllers because I'm an idiot, it's just these third-party controller pieces of shit. I really don't recommend you get third-party pieces of shit because the D-pads on these break so easily. In fact, I had to use super glue. To super glue one of the D-pads back on. It was harder than you think it was. And there you have six buttons, start button, you know, unlabeled, just third-party pieces of shit. So recently, actually, in fact, this past year, so I've had this for a year and a half before, I, I for like a year before I did this, I got some actual Genesis controllers. And this first one is the, th the classic three-button Sega controller, the Genesis controller. You know, D-pad, A, B, C, start, obviously. Big, thick one. I think this is the closest to what I had when I was actually a kid. And then I got another six-button one, because there were six-button Genesis controllers made by Sega. Certain games use them. Not any game I have, I don't think. A, B, C, and then, of course, they have X, Y, and C. At the top, actually, it's A, B, C. <laughs> Duh, me. D-pad, start button. Oh, the nice Sega logo here, and the Sega Genesis logo on the... Three button controller, that's very nice. And for the, um, obviously power. I have both the RF connector, the old, really antique way to hook up a video signal to your TV. You know, there's a little slot switch here. Yeah, like you switch it to channel 3 or channel 4, and then when you turn on your TV, you turn it to channel 3 or 4, and then it'll actually play on that channel when you plug this bit into the TV, which most TVs don't even have anymore. That input. But then I also found out, while I was looking through things, that there is an, a component Genesis cable, where you have the red, white, and yellow, you know, the classic, what do you call it, RCA connector, and that will help me if I ever want to record, what do you call it, if I ever want to record an Elgato game capture, me playing uh, Genesis games because that on the retro adapter for the Elgato game capture, there was a RCA input, so that would help me. Although I do think they had the old AV thing too. And this big, chunky power block for the Genesis. Uh, we'll talk about this later. Let's get into the Genesis games. So I have here a box for Sonic the Hedgehog and the actual game inside. What do you know? For Sonic the Hedgehog. And hey, this one has an instruction book, but I think it's all ripped out. No, all the, pa all the pages are still here. Look, wonderful, wonderful. I'm a, I'm a sucker for the you know completeness of the box, the instruction book, all that thing. Which is sad because half the games I have don't have boxes, and even less have the actual instruction booklet. So I might try to recollect those as time goes on, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to find them. I would probably have to buy other copies of the game. That would suck. But then one of my personal favorites is the one I most remember playing in my childhood the first days of me gaming. So I was born in 1995. I think by the time I was three, I was actively playing in a real serious way Sonic the Hedgehog 2 and Sonic 1. And also that mean bean machine thing for, <laughs> you know that Tetris kickoff that, so that Sonic did? It was actually really hard where Dr. Robotnik was making these beans. I don't know, it was a weird plot device. Anyway, we have the box for Sonic 2. It's a little ripped up. I got it from a scalper store. I mean, a, 
I mean, <laughs> uh, retro store. And uh, let's talk to the cartridges in there, but not the instruction booklet, of course. Actually, while I don't have the actual copy of Mean Bean Machine yet, uh, I do have the retro, you know, you know those retro Genesis systems that they made like in 2005 and your local Walgreens probably still carries them like 12 years later. I actually have one of those that I can play Mean Bean Machine on it too, but I actually should show that off in this video, so I'll make a point of bringing that out in a second. And this is Sonic 3. Now, I've played Sonic 1 Sonic 2. I've beaten them completely and got the good endings. I have played a little bit of Sonic 3. Not fully, mostly because I didn't play it in my childhood, but also because, uh, well, I'm a very busy person. I have a lot of actual recording to do when I do have free time, and most of the time I don't even have time to do that. So, unfortunately, Sonic 3 is not something I have experienced in its entirety. But don't worry, I have Sonic and Knuckles. This is a special type of cartridge. I don't have a box or a instruction booklet for it. Most of you probably know what this is, it's a lock-on cartridge. Basically what happens is, so I, I, again, I'm, I play like one level of this. <laughs> I haven't played much into it, like Sonic 3. What this is, is you put this into the Genesis, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll, let's do a demonstration. And you put, so you can play Sonic and Knuckles on its own, right? You play the game Sonic and Knuckles. But you can also put another cartridge on top of it, because there's a little bit to connect them. And look. They go together, and you actually unlock Knuckles and play him in Sonic 2. So that's really cool. And you actually get to go places you weren't able to get to go to when you didn't have Knuckles. There's walls you can climb that you couldn't jump your way to earlier in the game. It's a really nice way to show off content. They must have planned it ahead of time, really. Because they put in to Sonic 1 and Sonic 2 places that only Knuckles could get to, from what I understand. So... Very nice that they planned that out. Very wonderful. So let's move the Genesis 2 aside for one second and go to the 32X. There's a very wonderful <laughs> web page, or article I could say, where it deals with maintaining this wonderful machine, which is falling apart in my hands in the back here. I don't know what this part is. <laughs> And uh, I believe the title was, This Thing Barely Fucking Works. And they're not lying. It's not the title, but it's one of the things they <laughs> um, So basically, what's supposed to happen with this? There, well, there are two special attachments to the Genesis. The Sega 32X, which I hold in my hand, and the Sega CD, which I hope to get at some point. And how they work, they have their own separate power cable. You plug it into the Genesis. So you have... Uh, mind you, a power cable for the Genesis and the 32X. You have a cable that hooks up the 32X and the Genesis, because apparently locking it in isn't enough. <laughs> and then you have a, another video cable running from the 32X to your TV. Then you put a 32X game. Right, I have Knuckles and Chaotix, the only one that really matters. You put it in, and you play it like that. Uh, here's the problem. One... I don't know what's broken, either Knuckles Chaotix or the 32X. I wouldn't say it's broken, I would say it's not working right now. I'm not sure how serious the problem is. I just recently got these and tried to get them to work. I had them set up on the floor. Didn't get to work. Uh, the problem is, the connectors on these things, as anyone who owns one of these systems know, are so iffy. That having two of them in a row doesn't really help. <laughs> so. First of all, I don't have static plates that are supposed to ground the thing, so it's kind of dangerous to use it without the static plates, but I live dangerously. Here, just having this in the Genesis, this connection is not secure. It wobbles a little bit, so that causes problems. There was a special piece that you could put between the Genesis and the 32X when, you know, you got it with the 32X when you bought it. That would kind of help this problem, but I have looked on Amazon, eBay, every website I could think of, and cannot find a way to get my hands on one of those pieces, so I'm worked for that. And then, you put the 32X in, cartridges wobble all the time, you know that problem. So, 
making this work is really difficult. This is what I'm trying to say, and I have not got to do that yet. I'm wondering if there's something wrong with the cartridge or the system, but uh, I have no way of knowing that. I only have one system and one cartridge. I, I'm starting to wonder if my only hope is either to pay a professional to fix it for me, which I don't want to do because money, and <laughs> two, if I need to get that part that goes between the 32X and the Genesis. And if I do, I'm screwed because that means I would have to buy a new, not a used version of the 32X because no used 32Xs, on Amazon at least, had that part with it. And getting a new one of these is hundreds of dollars and I can't spare that kind of money. I'm a college student. My channel isn't anything big. I don't even have a, my career set down yet. Obviously, it's not something I'm gonna do. But hey, the wonderful Genesis 2, everyone, you'll probably see a, a few, if not all, of these lovely games in Zalps, whether it be Zalp 20 or Zalp 12 or even Zalp 9, I don't know. I, I've only planned up to Zalp 7, really. That's a little peek into the curtain for you. But before I go, I'm going to show you one more piece of technology that I didn't think to, I didn't think to include in this video that I really should have. Give me one moment, I'll be right back. One more note about the 32X and I'll get off it. Actually, I, I forgot to say how it didn't work. It's really interesting because when I flick it on, what basically happens is it flicks the first little produced by little note of, what is it, Knuckles Chaotix, the only 32X game anyone cares about. So, obviously there's nothing wrong with how I'm setting it up. The video signal is getting through at some point. Either the cartridge is freezing or something wrong with the connection. Anyway, let's go to this. This has been sitting on the shelves of your local Walgreens and uh, other related pharmacies for about five years, ten years, depending on the version. It was released for the, well, this one's the 25th anniversary of Sonic Edition, so that must be, uh, I'm not doing math right now. Anyway, actually it's not less old than I thought it was. So this version is newer. Actually, I had a friend, a co-worker at a YMCA camp, uh, back when I used to work at YMCA camps, who uh, had this and, you know, I would borrow it in the break room. I remember, if you're watching this magic uh, salute to you, that was her camp name. My camp name was, yeah, it's okay to say it. My camp name was Pattern. I don't work there anymore. I don't think it's I don't think there's a problem with saying it. Now, the, this is the Retro Genesis. It has two wireless controllers. The wirelessness of these things, really finicky. I think there's a way to, yeah, you can plug in a wire controller into here, which I prefer to do, because even though it feels a little less polished than these, these feel pretty polished. The wireless is so bad on these. I find my I find it just not responding sometimes, losing signal. So that can be a problem. So a little bit of a uh, slap on the wrist for that for this guy. And I have some batteries here for some reason, uh, either for the controller or for the system. No, it's for the controllers. The system has a direct power, duh. So there's the power. Here's the video cable, only the white and yellow port for some reason, and a little instruction manual and all the games it has with it. So this. System, you don't actually need to stick cartridges in here, although you can. You can't stick a 32X in this, by the way, even though it doesn't even have hookups anyway, duh. It comes preloaded with 80 games inside it. Obviously, the Sonic games. I believe they have Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic 3. Do they have Sonic 3? It looks like they have Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and Sonic and Knuckles. Sonic 3 isn't showing up. They have the Genesis version of 3D Blast. Let's just name them all, shall we? Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah. Yeah, all of these are, all of these are listed here. So let's just read off what is preloaded onto this thing. This is a very professionally done video, by the way. No blunders at all. I planned this whole script out. <laughs> Alex Kidd, I actually played that for like 10 minutes. It seemed interesting, although I got a little bored and also I was live streaming, so I wanted to switch it up, so I kept switching games. Uh, but, you know, Alex Kidd seemed fun. In fact, I believe that 
Guy was supposed to be their mascot before some, before they made Sonic. Sega was going to have Alex Kidd as their mascot. Fun fact, I read in that book you probably noticed on my floor where the gaming is done. Uh, the history of Sonic the Hedgehog. Anyway, getting, getting sidetracked. Alex Kidd, Alien Storm, Altered Beast. I loved that one. Altered Beast, very good game. You turn into a werewolf, it's fantastic. You beat people up. Arrow Flash, Bonanza Brothers, Chaken? Shaken? Co columns, Columns 3. Don't know what happened to Columns 2. I guess it wasn't good enough. Comics Zone, where you play as a guy who gets trapped in his own comic. He's an artist, and he has to fight through crime. Very wonderful. Crackdown, Decap Attack, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. I already told you about that one. It's a Tetris, a Tetris knockoff. ESWAT, ESWAT, Eternal Champions, Fatal Labyrinth, Flicky, Game Ground, Golden Axe, Golden Axe 2, Golden Axe 3, Revenge of the Golden Axe, that's not the title. Jewel Master, Kid Chameleon, Mortal Kombat, the first Mortal Kombat, I played that a little bit, that was fun. Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Revenge of the Mortal Fantasy Star 2, not even Fantasy Star 1, Fantasy Star 3, Ristar, Shadow Dancer, Shinobi 3, Sonic 3D Blast, I mentioned, and then Sonic & Knuckles. Sonic Spinball, that is a really fun one. I love playing Sonic Spinball. Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sword of Vermilion, The Ooze, Vector Man, Vector Man 2, and then there's a bunch of lesser, more, you know, mini-game type games they have on here. Adventure in the Park, Air Hockey, Black Sheep, Bomber, Battle Taps Race, Brain Switch, Break the Fire Line, Bubbles Master, which looks like something I played on as a little downloadable game on the seats of those, you know, those airplanes where you can play games on those touch screens. I remember playing that as a kid, not even on the Genesis, but on those. <laughs> Moving on. Cannon, Checker, Chess, ooh, that's fun. I actually played that for a little bit. Cross the Road, Curly, yeah, Chess, that's fun. Curly 2010, oh, you Canadians, you must be so happy. Dominant Amber, Fight or Lose, Flash Memory, Hexagonos, Hidden Algebra, oh no, Hidden Agenda, excuse me, <laughs> sort of a mental typo. Hidden Agenda is what I meant to say. Hide and Seek, Jax P, Jewel Magic, Jura Formula, can you tell I'm going for watch time here? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm actually, I actually wanted to do this. Lost World Sudoku, it was Sudoku, I didn't even notice that first time. Mahjong Solitaire, Meatloaf Rotation, Mega Brain Switch, Memory, Mirror Mirror, Mr. Balls, Maya Mastermind, Naval Power, Panic Lift, weird, some weird thing with an elevator, Plumbing Contest, not a Mario Brothers or Broth, unfortunately, Skeleton Scale, Snake, not the solid kind, uh, this, this, this tag is in the way of the next one, hold on, let me, Spider, and then, uh, it's in the way of this too, hold on, hold on, we're gonna get this in the next two seconds so I don't have to cut footage, because that's annoying, T-Rex Memory Match, even though I already have to. Wall Breaking, Warehouse Keeper, Whack-A-Wolf, not Whack-A-Mole, no, that'd be, that'd be too simple, that'd be too mainstream, too cliche. <laughs> and Yawning Triceratops, try figuring out that one. I don't even know how that works. Anyway, lovely little machine. It costs like, I want to say like 30, 40 bucks? But it was on sale at one point, so I got it for less than 40 bucks. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought it at all, because I have a Genesis. But, you know, some of these games I don't own, and I haven't bought the used cartridges, obviously, so it was nice. I never would have bought Alex Kidd, so it was nice to see what Alex Kidd was like. Uh, there's a little instruction booklet that has little descriptions of the games and controls. Nice. So, those Mortal Kombat finishers, I swear, I'm just not very good at them. Anyway, I have a Genesis. For the Sega consoles, I have a Genesis, I have the 32X. I have the Dreamcast. What I don't have, I don't have the Sonic CD attachment to the Genesis, and I don't have the Sega Saturn. And those are really the only other two Sega consoles I care about. You know, and anything older than that, really, <laughs> it's not something I'm terribly interested in. You know, for these retro games, obviously Genesis, really old system. I have the PlayStation One, which is also old. Uh, I'm not thinking of going back farther than you know, getting an Atari. I've seen those games, they're kind of shite, <laughs> which is fine, because it was the time, it was, at the time that's what they were, but, and then these other systems, you know, 
I have the original NES, I'm not going any farther back than Genesis, NES, you know, that's about as far back as I go. But join me next time, I'll be showing off other consoles and games I have. Obviously, I don't have that many games for the Genesis and the 32X. Uh, most of my games I have for the original Xbox, the PS2, the PS1. Either way, I'll be showing off all this lovely stuff. Thank you for watching this video. If you did, you probably didn't, but thank you anyway. I love you all, all 39 of you now. After I made that year celebration video, a 39th member joined the Avon flock. So thank you to Brianna, very lovely of you. Uh, I forget her YouTube name. Uh, I'll stick it on the video or something. Hey, you know, mind as well. I'll see you next time, guys.